Penny here, and I am today going to be talking about something that a lot of people have a lot of questions about, and that's Minicam. And uh, there are a lot of systems out there that you can use to do to alter your video feed in your online classroom. And so, um, a lot of people use Minicam. Some people use Cam Twist. Some use O. BS, I think is the name of another one. There are a lot of different options out there. Uh, uh, frankly, I've tried Cam Twist. I, I couldn't figure it out. So, but I've worked with Minicam a lot and, uh, and I use it in almost every class that I teach. So I wanted to do a video today on Minicam. So I'm showing you, I hopefully I'm showing you the, this is the actual Minicam setup okay it's it's the program that comes up onto your computer so you would go to minicam.com and download the uh the program minicam on your your com to your computer it is uh the minicam studio is the one that i use if you are a vip kid teacher you can go to the six apple club and purchase it through there for 24.95 uh for a year's subscription also check with minicam and see what their lifetime subscription is uh it may be a better deal to just do the lifetime subscription anyway uh so you can download it actually and you can download it for free and play with it get to know the system see if you want to try to do that but if you do that you're going to have a watermark over here that says minicam for when you do that okay if you don't want the water watermark then you have to purchase the program and of course it's limited functions if you have the free version but there's a lot of great options that you can do with minicam and i want to just give you a brief overview of them in this video then i'm going to go in a little little bit later in some other videos and give you more specific details of all the different things that you can do with it and how to set those up. So with Minicam, what we can do is we can change our video feed. You can change it to just your picture or you can change it to other things in the picture with you or completely other video feeds as well. So what I, if you look down here at the bottom of Minicam, there are, these are what they call presets. Okay, and uh, if you look over in the far right, whoops, wrong way, far left, the far right corner over here, these are the presets, and you can set up these presets however you want them to be. So this one is preset number one. I have it set for just my video. Now the cool thing about this with Minicam is I can do some things like zoom. I can zoom out. Oh, look, you can see all of my junk over there, my filing cabinet, all that, or I can zoom into just what I want my student to see in the classroom without having to move my computer back and forth. I can I can do that zoom. I can also adjust my lighting. I can make it dark. I can make it light. Whatever. Okay. I can do adjust, adjust the brightness in the screen. I can adjust the coloring. And oh, that's really scary. Okay. So I can adjust all kinds of things in that one. I can also adjust the frames per second. So how good quality it is. I can adjust the size of my video. All of that stuff I can do in in Minicam. Whereas with the regular camera, you really can't adjust any of that very much. Uh, in fact, I tried to go in to just my FaceTime camera a while ago to, I'm trying to, I think I messed up my lighting. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, I tried to go into my FaceTime camera. I, I use a Mac um, and I would try to go into my FaceTime camera settings to, to zoom in a little bit while ago. I couldn't do it. Okay. There was no way to, at least not that I found. Okay. But I can do that through Minicam. So that's one of the ways that I, that I really like using Minicam is that I can use that zoom with it. Okay. Then I can also set up these other presets down here at the bottom. Now, I have mine set up. The preset one is just me. Okay. Preset two, I have a picture that I have uploaded to Minicam. That's going to be in another video, how to upload those pictures. And then I set it as the backdrop. This is the one that I use if my student is late to class. So, you know, so if it's a no show, I just put that one up there so I don't have to sit there and look at the, the camera for the whole class to act like I'm interested, whatever. Anyway, or if a parent, this is actually my WeChat code uh, where they can connect with me on WeChat. So they can, can 
scan that one and do that. Now, this is the one that I use most often in class. And let me explain what this, this setting does. Okay, this preset I have set up as a picture in picture. So um, the main video that you see is still me. It's still my video picture. And um, um, I got I need to adjust it a little bit because you can see I've got a heat press here from when I used to make t-shirts. Okay, so um, let me get, whoops, not that one, this one. Okay, I want to adjust this just a little bit where it's just me and I can move me around. See, I can move it around in there as well to adjust that. Okay, but then um, I set up a second feed and this second feed could be um it could be another what i have mine set up for is chrome it shows me whatever is on chrome so for in this case i have this set up to show google slides um and that is a, a whole separate issue with this with using minicam this is what most people like to use minicam for google slides is a wonderful group on facebook group that uh well google slides is a presentation program similar to like PowerPoint or something like that but it's all done online and there is a group of teachers that have a VIP kid group I'm going to link it down here in the YouTube uh, the, in the YouTube description that is the Google Slides group and the VIP kid Google Slides group and they have prepared lesson props and reward systems and all that stuff all in Google Slides that for free free Okay, that you can use to t help enhance your classes. So in, in this class, this is a level four class where my student was learning about the, the words land and engine and all that. So they've already put together these slides that go right along with the lesson. Okay. and have extra pictures of hotels and they have extra pictures of traffic and stuff like that so that I can help explain the lesson to my student better. They also have reward systems. This one is uh, one where they it is, it's called a find a star. So they're going to pick a word and let's say they pick taxi. So they see the Lego taxi here and then they say, uh, then we say, yeah, uh, they pick another word. They choose runway and yeah, you get a Lego runway. Oh, look, you get a star so I use that as my reward system throughout my class it it matches the lesson or it may not match the lesson maybe it's just something for fun maybe it's my student loves Ultraman so I can pull up an Ultraman reward maybe my student likes dinosaurs so I can pull up some dinosaur rewards all of those kind of fun things but I share it right here in my video feed now some teachers that don't want to do mini cam they pull it up on their phone or their tablet and they just hold it up here like this and that's an option sure you can do it that way but this is also a great option to do it and this is how I use it the most okay I can also I also have one set up that I can switch okay so in this one I've got the the reward slide or I've got the the um the prop slide as the main picture in my video feed and then I'm down here in this little bitty corner um, with that so that helps my student if they want to see the, the the big picture rather than um, seeing just a little bit they can see the big picture but yet they still see me in there okay so you can set it up that way I also have another feed set up you can, I can't show it to you now because I'm not in an actual VIP kid classroom um, but I have another um, reward or another feed set up where it has the the VIP kid app okay and it shows the app there and then I can zoom in to just my students video so that actually puts my students video in one thing and then their video their video is in both of the video feeds if my student does not have the access to the AR stickers I can use that one to put the AR stickers on them in my video feed I've also had to use that sometimes if my student can't see the slides for some reason if they're having IT problems I can set it up and move it around where they can see the slides through my video feed um, it's not the best thing but I have had to teach a couple of classes like that where my student couldn't see the slides and it worked it worked fine okay so that was a a great option to have that in there so these uh, those are the few things that you can do with with um, with the Google slides or with minicam you can also download all kinds of pictures and effects that you can add to your your screen so I have a whole thing set up with family pictures so if we're talking about family I can put up a picture of my family you know this is my mom you know and this is dad and this is brother and this is sister you know and then I've, I've 
I've got another picture of me and my brothers when we are literally, I think that's hilarious that this is Teacher Penny, okay? But these are my two, I have two brothers you know, to be able to do that. Or I can show them my pets, okay? I can show them the, my pets in class without having to, the actual pet in the class. So I can show them those pictures. I can add things like, um, uh, like masks. Uh, so I can add, let's see here, let me show you some masks here. Let me find them. Oh, face masks. Here we go. Okay. So with my face masks, uh, some of these, if you can see the pictures over here on the side, obviously I'm not going to use the skeleton mask, but, but I might use this one. Okay. Similar to the AR stickers. Yeah. Or I could be Donald Trump. That would be very fun. <laughs> I'm not going to use that one. I'm not going to use the devil horn, okay? Uh, but I could do some fun ones, you know, in some other areas. I could do, um, I've got some objects in here. Uh, this one is one that I like I um, for a reward system for a little boy that likes cars. This is one that you can download through Minicam, and uh, you build this car all along the way. Little pieces of this car, you keep adding to it. Okay, and keep doing do 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 and number nine and number ten. So you keep adding to this car until you've got the whole car built. So those are some great things. You know that type of thing. You can do fruit. You can do um, you know, all kinds of things there in order to to uh, to add to your class. I've got ice cream cones. I've got pizza that we can add pizza to it. So all of those type of things you can add to your video feed while you're doing this. You can add stars. You can, I've got some, let me see if I can find, let me find the stars here. Yep, there's my stars, okay? So I can add, you know, five stars up here at the top or I can add one star at a time. Oh, that one's kind of big, okay? But even if it's kind of big, I can make it smaller and then move it over here. And then, oh, I can can do this one they like this one too okay so i can add the stars into the classroom with this one okay uh oops no i do not want to delete that one okay no i deleted it ah oh great Okay, I'll have to go download that one again. Okay, so you can download all kinds of effects like these to add to the classroom. So it just makes it, and you may not use all of those, but you might use some of them. So you can, you know, all kinds of things you can do it. And you can you can actually upload your own pictures onto Minicam and then get them onto your thing. That's a whole different process. I'll have to do that in a separate video. I just wanted to give you a little overview of what uh, Minicam can do here. But one more thing that Minicam can do. Hang on, wait a second, I'll show you. You can do green screen with Minicam. They have something called chroma key where you can change your background using, now you saw me put this up. This is four pieces of green poster board. That's all it is. And I just tape it up here behind me. Then I can turn on my green screen and put a picture behind me. So in this picture, I've got this cute little uh, background that was done. This is the background actually came from the Google Slides group. It was uh, it was somebody already put that one together, or maybe I could do uh, this is a built-in one that they have straight on Minicam. You can choose whichever picture you want. So here's a nice. Um, I've got a whole file, a, a whole file on my computer that's got all these kind of pictures on it that I can pull up and have a different background. Is it perfect? No. You do you see these weird little edges around my uh, my arms and my head? Yes. Okay. It's not a perfect green screen. But it sure does make it things a lot of fun. Um, I've got there. I have some downloaded pictures that I can use too of a um, um, uh, with some sea creatures. So the, here's my ocean thing and then I could add some sea creatures around it and their reward would be those sea creatures perfect for that level three um, uh, unit that, that has that's all about fish and mammals perfect for reward for that so green screen is a great option some teachers that have a hard time finding the perfect place to set up their classroom maybe green screen is your answer to do a green screen with it okay uh, all right so that's just a little bit of the, some ideas of how you can use minicam in your classroom and how you can um, um, you, you can use that. I'm going to do some more specific videos on setting up all of these these feeds down here, how to make a um, 
an object and upload it to the VI to, to to Minicam and then download it back to your computer to add it into your into your classroom. All kinds of options that you have there. So you can you can do that in order to organize it and keep it all straight where you have it. So anyway, so a lot of different options that you can do with Minicam. It's a great program. As I said, I use it almost every single day in my class room with that. So I uh, I encourage you to have a lot of fun with Minicam and to uh, you and to check it out. See, and it, it I find it makes me a better teacher, particularly being able to use those Google Slides to access my classroom. Okay, so thanks for watching today. I appreciate you coming. Be sure and give me a like and a subscribe here on YouTube. Um, also check out my website, hellopennydavis.com. There's a ton of information there for teachers that are already hired as well as teachers that are going through the hiring process. Thanks so much for being here today and watching and I appreciate you coming by. Bye-bye.